Thank you for the invitation as an IPHL member to talk about these important topics, regionalization and localization. My name is Anabela Sanchez. I am a senior supply chain management advisor based in Guatemala, my hometown. I initiated my career in USAID, um, where I began to get passionate about strengthening public health supply chain systems and to improve processes to deliver life-saving commodities to the last mile. Later, I joined GSI in my role as Regional Technical Advisor for Commodity Security in Latin America. And currently, I am an independent consultant supporting a variety of pro uh, projects, including supply chain management in humanitarian and emergency settings. First of all, um, I think that results are more likely to be accomplished when working as a team building partnerships and fostering institutionalized pro pro uh, processes within ministries of health structures. I think that um, one of the best experiences is in Guatemala. I remember while in my tenure in USAID around the year 2000, the MOH in Guatemala decided to design their logistics management information system, which is still in place today. I was part of uh, that process when the USA Deliver project was providing technical assistance and the follow-on projects continued supporting to institutionalize the LMIS reporting form called BRES, which means Balance, Requisition and Distribution Form. Uh, also, one of the main areas that I am interested very much is in promoting integrated supply chains rather than vertical. Uh, supply chains and the L logistics management information system as I see it as the heart of any logistics system. I think that as countries strengthen supply chain management systems to be more resilient and get prepared for future and ongoing emergencies and humanitarian crises, senior level staff needs to address workforce development efforts to increase the capacity at the regional and local levels to respond to emerging needs uh, and to increase the maturity of their supply chain systems, whether by developing regional mechanisms for pre-qualification and full procurement, like the Comisca platform in uh, Central America, or using regional hubs to distribute essential medicines quickly. For example, WHO, as we all know, during the redesign of their supply chain strategy are moving more and more from a global to a regional distribution strategy to become more agile and reliable. I think that another important aspect is that regional platforms are a great venue to develop professionalization efforts, especially when a group of governments are together designing long-term strategies to improve health system strengthening including the supply chain management. Then uh, reg uh, regarding localization, it is key to partner with cooperating agencies such as USAID to strengthen local efforts and to prioritize developing or strengthening a local cater of supply chain management specialists, especially to strengthen capacities to reduce dependence from international donors. Um, I think that workforce development at the local level should be at the center of all localization efforts. However, uh, there are still several challenges in many countries. For example, a high turnover of trained supply chain professionals, few or no institutions uh, that provide specialized supply chain management training, awareness of of the importance of the supply chain management profession is weak. Uh, also weak political will to improve remuneration of the workforce in general and the supply chain management workforce specifically. Uh, another um, weakness is that sometimes supply chain practitioners lack of technology skills, but that can be resolved by bringing other professions to strengthen the supply chain management workforce for example, engineers, uh, IT experts. And another challenge is that no supply um, 
uh, gene management professional body are at the local level. However, IAPHL serves as this professional body at the global level. I think that for regionalization, I, um, the example of Comisca in Latin America, a uh, country's political will to jointly negotiate prices and pre-qualification of suppliers is the foundation of any regionalization effort. And for both regionalization and localization, once you have commitment to prioritize the human resources, you need to develop assessments of the HR needs and gaps on every aspect of the supply chain, whether to improve selection and um, qualification and quantification processes, establishing quality controls, more efficient procurement processes, local resources, um, and capacities for warehousing, transportation, and distribution. Uh, also strengthen regional and local partnerships to join forces to prioritize supply chain management workforce development in local policies and make them more visible. I think that one uh, concrete example, again, is Comisca, is uh, a great example of savings when regional pooled um, procurement is implemented. Uh, I recently read that in 2023, Secomisca celebrated 10 years and reported accumulated savings of approximately $120 million. Secomisca initiative has been supported by various donors including Spain, uh, PEPFAR, among others. Well, first, I would say to join forces and resources to make more visible the importance of the supply chain management workforce everywhere. And second, I would say that continue sharing experiences in IAPHL and bring all our knowledge about regional ventures to continue learning from one another and pursuing professionalization of supply chain staff uh, through south-to-south -south connections. Oh, in Spanish. Um, bueno, me encantaría invitarlos a seguir um, esta comunidad compartiendo experiencias, conocimientos y también invitarlos a que siga creciendo al invitar a más profesionales en este tema. Muchas gracias. Hasta pronto.